Well, hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, 24,030, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and you know it, I know it, make sure you ring that bell. So, portal has been swept, and you know we got some dragons to slay, so let's slay some dragons. But while we're slaying dragons, how are you doing today? I do hope everything is going well for you. Obviously, everything is going great here. You're about to see just how great. Now, we didn't make any progress today in either Portal or um, Total War. Yeah, I guess I realized I promised that we would try it, but you know what? You guys make me record it makes me not want to do it. It just makes it uh, much more difficult because I do have to set everything up, make sure it's recorded. And some days I just don't have the time to do that. The thing is, when I'm not recording it, I just let it rip. Rip a Rooney and go do something else. Uh, but actually having to record it means I have to kind of pay attention to it. I have to set it up. I, 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 there's a lot more mindfulness with that comes with recording versus like usually I... Like literally b before you guys asked me to record, my pattern was... All right, let's go through, get King's Ruin done, because King's Ruin is, you know, has to be done. Then when Portal came around, then it was like, okay, did I feel like trying Portal today, or did I want to try Total War? And then I would try Total War, then I would try Portal, and, you know, just kind of see what happens. If nothing, you know, and, and if nothing worked out, then we just talk about it in the video. Again, as you've seen, I don't do any elaborate setups or anything like that. It's just kind of like, eh, do I feel like running it today? Sure. Uh, part of that's because the reality is most of this game at this point is just is more making sure you do your dailies than anything else. And you know, again, I'm a I am a pretty seasoned MMO player, so like being patient and waiting for something to happen is kind of how all MMOs work. You basically have lockouts, uh, gear lockouts, so you can only progress so much each each week. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't, and then you just wait until next week. That's uh, pretty much the pattern with MMOs, which is why you kind of have to have a lot of patience to play MMOs. They're, and depending on the MMO, some are grindy, some aren't. But almost all of them are, are time-gated to some level where it's not like, oh, you can't just run the raid 50 times. You run the raid and, you know, that's it, and then you go on to the next week. So we didn't catch up Total War. And the Archer store has been swept. But that's why I can be really patient, because I've played MMOs for years. You know, I know the the cycle. And, you know, most of them don't have really good catch-up mechanics either. So it's either you, you know, you either find your pace. You know, it's more like running a race, right? If you're running a sprint, you run as hard as you can. But MMOs are more like, uh, more like a marathon. So if you sprint, you're going to burn yourself out, and then you're not going to be interested in playing, because basically you tried to go so hard that you're no longer interested in the game, you know, and you can get and you can get really unlucky with loot. So with me, and especially with time-gated MMOs, which, you know, World of Warcraft is, always has been time-gated with regards to raiding, but especially retail now, with the Great Vault is much more time gated so it's like okay i go fill up my vault okay my vault's full well that's it i just wait until next you know like i can try to get drops but they're not going to be as good so just wait until next week so that's kind of how I, that's kind of how i roll but that said it's time to work on marion and so honestly the way idle kingdom defense works I wouldn't say it's directly similar to a MMO like World of Warcraft, but it's similar enough in terms of, okay, we do we do Total War, and you know what, if we don't get it today, that's fine, we just have to, you know, it's more important to keep coming back than it is to try and rush and get frustrated you can't get it done. And again, like I said, we're going to be in this for the long haul. I am actually fearing that we're going to have to get Marion up to 5,000 to beat 1210. And that is going to be vicious. 
Now, I am hoping that we get slightly better um, from sweeping 11. Oh, wait, do we need a 26? It is 26. So I am hoping that, you know, we'll get slightly better sweeping Marion. I mean, with 11-10, um, but it's not going to be like, 11-10 is not going to be like, oh, you get, here's twice as much XP, you'll level twice. No, it's going to be like maybe 10%. So we might be able to get, let, let's say it's 20% more XP, which I think is reaching. That still puts us in the neighborhood of like 400 days. That basically means we're going to be a whole year working on 1210. Crit damage, that's what I like to see. That's what we need. We need that crit damage. So what can you do? You know, the only way to get past it would be for somebody else to fundamentally change how the artifact system works, which would not really be the same game. It would be kind of an interesting mod, like to play on like a second account, like an accelerated system with more inventory space, like much more inventory space. And I've heard theories like, and I think they're pretty good theories. Like, oh, they expected you to sweep 18 and do this. I really think... The inventory system is mostly fine. Defense. For people who don't play the game like I do. Because I record videos about the game, the inventory system is super limited. If I wasn't making videos and trying to save up, like, to maximize, you know, how much we get to enhance our artifact for each video, I really think I wouldn't have a problem, you know? So, I mean... You know, it's one of them things. We'll see how it goes. And this is... this is. Are we going to make it to 29? I think we are. 22, 29. That's... Wow. Well, now they're both a fourth of the way there. How about that? How the turntables. Honestly, if anything could change, it would be not requiring three of the same to, uh, defense to awaken. Now we have 101,000 crit damage on the ring. And how is the orb holding up? It's still under 100k. The orb needs to get it together, man. And I will say, do expect some changes in King's Ruin. I don't know that it'll be faster, but we will have something interesting to look at. So yeah, only 98,580 crit damage on the orb. What a shame. And finally, we hit it, 99,248,000 crit damage. Well on our way. Well on our way to that coveted 250k. So, let's see. Oh, we did run out of time. That's unfortunate. No time to work on Daniel, but we do have time to do my favorite thing. Which is from going on from here on forward, we're just going to focus on leveling up that castle. So what did we get here? Oh, we got the expedition. Now one of the things that will be kind of interesting is what's uh what's uh oh yeah we're at at eight hundred and forty three on kings or in victories. That's two. You know I've already played this game for two years. What's two more? You know. Uh, what's two more years? Go ahead and claim that. Grab that. And let's level up that castle. And I'm going to go with 18.991 million. Not even close. 18.977. So, that said, once again, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.